For more than a hundred years, ever since J.J. Thompson discovered the electron back in 1897, we've been on a quest to find the universe's fundamental building blocks. We smashed atoms, found protons and neutrons, and then we smashed those open, uncovering an even deeper layer of reality. By the 1970s, this relentless digging gave us a stunningly successful theory, the standard model of particle physics. Think of it as the ultimate periodic table. But instead of elements like hydrogen and oxygen, it lists the fundamental Lego bricks that build everything. You've got quarks, which build protons and neutrons. You've got leptons, like the electron. And you've got bosons, the particles that carry the fundamental forces. It's a beautiful, elegant, and powerfully predictive map of reality. And for a while, it seemed almost complete. Scientists had sorted the quarks and leptons into three generations, each one a heavier, more exotic echo of the last. The first generation has the up and down quarks that make up all the stable matter in our universe. The second and third generations are their heavier, unstable cousins, only showing up in high-energy collisions before disappearing in a flash.